Hello everyone, Dan here from Sherpy T. Thought I'd share a quick little adventure that I had over at the family farm. Uh, just thought I'd throw out a couple of pictures to see where, where I was at, what kind of different things that I was uh, a part of. Uh, I have a lot of little different videos here, little video clips of me doing various things. Hope you enjoy it. Um, love to hear feedback. Uh, all comments are appreciated. Here's the start of my little journey. Uh, this particular little woods right here, very small, maybe two acres if that. Um, uh, it's up probably about, I don't know, 30 feet from the side that I'm going to be going out here. Um, it's interesting, uh, you can't really tell, but I am barely fitting between these trees. Uh, this is the first time that I've actually went through this spot this summer. I did go through last fall. Um, and it was pretty much virgin country when I first went through. There was quite a few trees that I actually drove over. Uh, 20 years ago or so, I did used to drive my motocross bike here, four-wheelers, three-wheelers, that type of thing. Um, but it, it really hasn't had any real traffic here for a number of different years. You're starting to see me get to the end of the top of the woods up here. Right now I'm going in about first gear, just taking my time. Um, Again, because it is so tight, it's kind of hard to see that. I wish I would actually be able to show you that, but I've only got so many cameras. Here I'm coming down that hill. It's a lot steeper than it looks in this video. Um, I'm going to show you I have a camera on the opposite side, the bottom of this hill that you're going to be seeing here in a second. Uh, but these weeds right here, I'll bet you damn near 10 feet tall. Uh, one of the things that gets kind of nervous is when you're driving in things like this, as you can kind of see right now, you can't see a darn thing where you're going, uh, so you better make sure that there's not any big, huge obstacles that are in your way, but honestly, you would see them and you'd be able to stop, and when you're going slow, it really wouldn't cause any damage. So here's what it looks like for me coming down the hill. You get a little bit better picture. Sorry for the quality about this. Uh, I didn't realize my lens was all fogged up. I do have that straightened out here as we're going along, but I thought it was a valuable thing and pretty cool to see me coming through that from and through that virgin stuff. Here's me plopping back up that hill and you can get a better idea of how steep this hill actually is. Um, I like my little Sherpy T thing. Remember I had a wrap on the back of this Sherp that I had as part of the whole Yeezy shoe giveaway in Chicago. And so I put that little Sherpy T thing on the back there. Um, but I pulled off the majority of the wrap a little bit later in this weekend uh, with the hot weather and I went back to the original orange that I had when I first purchased the shirt. Um, came off pretty easy once it was nice and warm. There's me going through about third gear uh, through that area right there. I don't know how fast it is. I guess probably 10, maybe a little bit more, a little bit faster than that, but it's really not that speedy. Uh, tire pressure, uh, shucks, I don't know, right now I guess it's probably around 70 uh, millimeters of mercury um, that are in the tires, so I guess maybe one, two PSI at the most, not a lot. There you can see that angle, kind of neat with that chunk of wood there on top there, eh? And I did leave that uh, moonroof open. I would shut that if I was going through stuff um, where something would hit the top of the shirt, but I've been through this so many times that I know that's not the case. So I figured to leave the sucker open. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, it's in the summer like that, does this thing have air conditioning? Nope, the shirt does not have air conditioning. Um, you could put it on, uh, that would work, but honestly, you don't need it. I've, I've been in this thing in 90 degree, 95 degree weather, and it's just fine. Uh, the reason for that is the shirt. Uh, fan, the, the cooling fan that blows through the radiator, in the summer you blow the air through the radiator directly out of the side of the Sherp, um, and what that does is creates negative pressure on the inside so it almost sucks air into the cab of the Sherp, uh, keeping it nice and cool. In the winter you take that fan off, put a fan on that spins in the opposite direction, and then it actually sucks the air through the radiator back into the engine compartment which also overflows into the cab. So it does keep it uh, fairly nice, um, not too hot though, so you can have it that way still when it's like 40, 50 degrees outside and it's not miserable. Um, and then again for the colder days, it also has a heater core 
uh, that you blow air through, just like a car, and that comes off that, that diesel too. And I do turn that on in the winter, um, but I don't leave it all the, on all the time unless it's like way below zero because it, it, it just gets too warm. And then in addition to that too, we do have that Wabasco heater in there. The Wabasco heater does not require the engine to be running. Uh, it's basically kind of just uh, heating up the air, kind of like a salamander heater. Uh, blows the exhaust outside of the Sherp and it keeps the hot air on the inside. That works fantastic. It works unbelievable. I've slept in this thing uh, 10 degrees outside, no issues at all. In fact, on this particular day, I slept in the Sherp also um, down here at the pond in the evening. Beautiful night. Um, it was nice. Uh, very comfortable. Um, not too bad at all even without a fan. So again, I'm just playing around here in the same spot, hopefully not getting bored. You can see right there that that Sherp is actually floating. Um, that particular spot right there, right where that Sherp was, is where the pond normally is on a normal year. It has been unbelievably, this, this pond has been high for the last couple of years. Uh, this has not been normal. Um, this on a normal year right now where you're seeing that water is actually a field road that we use to get to the different various fields out there. Um, I've had some people ask me too about this pond, you know, really there's only two different properties that go on this farm and it is 100% private. The only real fish that exist in this pond are bullheads. We have tried to put catfish in over the years but they just don't seem to make it. It's just too darn shallow and in uh, a really you know, harsh winter, the pond will basically freeze everything out. Uh, in this particular spot, I was hoping to get a great big splash because I was thinking the water was, uh, you know, a foot, two feet deep. Uh, but as you're going to see right here, it's only inches deep, so it really didn't do a heck of a lot. But it's still cool to drive across this type of terrain. Um, I really like how the wake gets going, and spinning around on here is probably one of my favorite things to do because uh, you can really spin quickly when you're just in some muddy, you know, shallow type water like that. Here's me going out to the pond. You're going to be able to see where the pond normally is. Right there is where the pond normally only goes to. There I'm 100% floating out in the middle of the pond, as, as you can obviously see. Um, I think I'm just going to quit talking here for a little bit, you know, let you just kind of watch, take a look, and uh, we'll throw on a little bit of background music, and uh, I'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes. Hello again, here's my sister and I coming down a hill, uh, went up and uh, actually she drove down and I picked her up and uh, took her for a quick little spin. Um, we just had an absolutely great day for this whole thing. Well, as always, I really appreciate it if you subscribe, um, love to get your feedback, let me know what you think of the video and have a great day. Thank you much. Bye-bye.